Okay, now we are going to learn about how to insert or how to put data into an array. You can use, you can put the data into an array in the same way you put data into a normal C programming variable. But here you have to specify the index. So array is a collection of elements. Array is a collection of similar elements. Then you have to specify to which location you want to put the data. Suppose here uh, we have an array of integer type and is capable of holding six values. Suppose I make a statement like this x of 4 uh, equal to some values uh, say 6. Okay so this is a valid statement because 6 is an integer and x is an array capable of holding integer values and here I specify an index called 4. 4 means I put a value 6 to the fifth memory location of this array. This is a valid statement. So you have to specify the index of the array while you while you putting data or inserting data into an array. That is very important. So if you want to insert value for the entire array, then you have to use a loop statement because uh, for inserting six element to this array, one way you have to make six separate statement for inserting elements but you can use a single loop statement you can use a loop statement uh, if the array is a large one if suppose if it contains 100 numbers then it is not possible it is not practical to um, practical to put 100 numbers in 100 different statements you have to put x of 0 x of 1 x of 10 up to x of 100 which is not practical. In that case you can use a loop statement. Suppose here we have to put six elements. In that case you have to use a loop statement. So here I use a loop statement. For using the loop we have to declare another variable. I declare another variable int i and first you have to initialize the variable i equal to 0. I initialize the variable i from 0 because the array is indexed from 0 to position. That's why I initialize the variable from 0. Now you have to specify the condition i less than or equal to 6. So the iterate not 6, 5. So the loop is iterate from 0 to 5. That means 6 times. And I increment the value of 5. Okay, now we have to read value to each element in that array. For that, I make a statement like this, x of 5 equal to, so here you have to use a scanf statement, scanf, here we are going to read an integer value, so use percentage %d, and now you have to specify the address operator, so put the address operator, and specify the variable here the variable is x of 5 so how it work so at the first time the value of i is 0 and it checks 0 less than or 5 it is true so enter into the loop and read the first element so x of 0 it read the first number into x of 0 then comes to the update statement i plus plus i is changed into 1 and again check the condition 1 less than or equal to 5 which is true so now read the second element x of 1 now again come to i plus plus i become 2 and check the condition 2 less than or equal to 5 which is correct so it will return true again enter into the loop statement so it read x of 2 that means it read the third element so it it execute until i become 5 so what happens when i become 5 again is true 5 equal to 5 which is true so again read the sixth element x of 5 now comes to i become 6 so so this statement this condition will false so 6 less than or equal to 6 which is not true so it will return false so this loop exit so it will read 6 element to the array so we can run the program for that we have to make the program some user friendly enter six numbers 
so user how to, user how to enter six numbers and every time we have to ask the user to enter a number print of enter percentage d number enter percentage d number now here I have to specify the control string here the control string is percentage d sorry here the variable is i plus 1 I put i plus 1 because the array is because we initialize the variable i from 0 that's why I put i plus 1 okay so we can check it out so I compile the program Yeah, compilation is success. Now run it. So enter the first number. That means this is the number in the zeroth index of the array. So I put a number. Now enter the second number. Another number. Now enter the third number. I put another number. Now I enter the fourth number. But this is 7 is the number corresponding to the which one? X of 0 1 0 1 2 3 x of 3 is 7 now we have to enter under 1 now we have to enter under 1 now we insert 1 2 3 4 5 6 numbers now it's over now the loop exit so we read 6 numbers into the array so this is how we read numbers into an array so if you want to if you want to read for values for the entire array then you have to use a loop statement if you want to insert only one element to an array then you can use only one statement but always make sure that you use the index so here this is a valid statement x of 4 equal to 6 that means i put the i put the value 6 to the fifth memory location of the array okay so while reading values to an array, the array index is most, more important.